Hi, this is Asi. Today I would like to share how to run chat boxes and connect strings using Foldo. Okay, I have a case here. Let's say I click on this button and ask the user to select the colors that they want. If let's say I would like to prompt a message box showing all the options that selected. So I can try for Foldo. Okay, let's try. Double click on the command button to assign code. Okay, using Foldo. So for i equal to 1 to 14, since we have 14 chat boxes. Okay, then we put the condition if user form 2. Okay, since the name is user form 2, then we use a function controls so that we can use a chat boxes with variable and i okay we use emphasis to connect chat box and variable i okay the c and b must be capital letter value equal to true so if the value is true means that selected then we can prompt a message box showing that the particular chat box already selected okay the caption here is to capture the color that selected means that if let's say the user select red the red will be recorded and paste over here okay we start from if then we end with if okay and remember to put next i okay let's see the output so when i click on this okay select red okay so selected red okay Another problem is since we provide chat boxes means that we allow users to choose more than one option. So if let's say the user choose two options, for example, red and orange, so what will appear here is red, then followed by orange, which is a bit strange, as what we hope is everything in one message box. So what can we do here is add a few more conditions. As we see just now, the message box is keep turning out whenever the value is true. It means that the option is selected. So to overcome this, we can actually use a variable to first record all the colors that selected. After that, only we use a message box to show the message. Okay, we can bring the message to the end of the for loop. It means that after the for loop. Is already done okay then we use a variable to record the to capture the colors so we can't let it be B so we just have to use the variable to capture the colors however we are not able to know how many options are actually selected so to know the option that I exactly selected actually we can use another for loop so for i equal to 1 to 14 or 14 check boxes then we write a equal to a plus 1 so it means that okay before that we must write the condition so whenever the check boxes is selected we have to take account so and if then next i okay so variable is true so we take a count okay until the end of the chat boxes so this will help us to count how many chat boxes already selected after that is the time for us to figure out how many conditions should we assign okay so if let's say the user select only one option means that at the end of the color we can straight away put a full stop since already complete so we can write m use the m function to connect the condition so when the chat boxes is selected and this is the only option so we can put a full stop to end this sentence okay if this is not the case so we just copy 
and then paste here. So we make use of L if. Okay, so when it's not only one, okay, if let's say not only one, we can have more than one, we can have two, three, four, and five. However, it's not the correct way for us to assign all the numbers from one to 14. So what can we do here is create another variable. Okay, let it be k and let k equal to one initially, since the minimum is one. So if let's say, when k is not equal to a, so what can we do here? We have to connect the first option and the second option. So b and the second option, or what we call the previous and the next. So we put a comma at the back. We have to bear in mind that when k is not equal to a, means that this is not the last option, that's why we need a comma here. Okay, we can create another condition to assign VPA when it is the last option, so when it's equal to K. However, we have to bear in mind that if I say this is not the last option, then we have to know when will be the last option. To make this done, we have to create another Code. So k equal to k plus 1. This will do a counting process. So when the first option is already done, then go to next and so on until the last, then we'll come to the third condition. So when it is the third, so it's the last, then we can use the word end. Okay, so means that this is the last option. Okay, so this one should be a full stop. Okay, okay. Now let's see our output. So choose color. So if let's say select only one, selected red. Okay, full stop. Okay, let's say choose red and orange. Okay, red and orange. Okay, then select also the yellow, red, orange, and yellow. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.